Taking risks for riches. What's the big idea? In the world of money, there's a saying, no risk, no reward. It means if you want a chance to grow your money big, you've got to be willing to step outside your comfort zone. Think of it like climbing a mountain. The higher you climb, the better the view. But the climb is also riskier. You could slip, you could get tired, you could even turn back. Financial risks are similar. Investing in a new business, buying stocks, even starting your own company. These all have risks, but they also have the potential for big rewards. The key is to understand the risks and rewards before you make a move. The upside, why risk it all? So, why do people take financial risks? It's simple, the possibility of making more money. Imagine putting a little money in a new company that becomes the next big thing. Or investing in real estate just before prices skyrocket. These are the stories that make headlines and inspire dreams. Taking risks can also lead to exciting opportunities. Starting your own business is risky, but it also gives you the freedom to be your own boss and pursue your passions. Remember, the biggest rewards usually come with the biggest risks. But with careful planning and a bit of luck, you can increase your chances of success. The downside, when fortunes turn, now let's talk about the flip side, the risks. The truth is, not all risks pay off. In fact, sometimes you can lose some or even all of the money you put in. Imagine investing in a company that goes bankrupt or buying a house just before the housing market crashes. These are the stories that keep people up at night. Taking financial risks can also be stressful. The ups and downs of the market can take a toll on your emotions, especially if you're not prepared for them. That's why it's important to remember that financial risk is a two-way street. While there's potential for big rewards, there's also the possibility of big losses. My first taste of risk and reward. I remember my first big financial risk. I was a young man, fresh out of school, and I had just started my first real job. I had saved up a few thousand dollars and I was eager to make it grow. A friend of mine told me about a new company that was developing a revolutionary new product. He was convinced that it was going to be huge and he urged me to invest. I was hesitant at first. I didn't know much about investing and I was afraid of losing my hard-earned money. But my friend was persuasive and I eventually decided to take the plunge. I invested half of my savings in the company. It was the biggest financial risk I had ever taken. For months, I anxiously watched the stock market, hoping for a sign that my investment was paying off. Finally, the day came. The company's product hit the market, and it was a smash hit. The value of my investment skyrocketed. I had made more money in a few short months than I had earned in my entire life. That experience taught me a valuable lesson about the power of taking calculated risks. It also taught me the importance of doing your research and understanding the risks involved before making any investment. I began to seek advice from more experienced investors and mentors, learning from their successes and mistakes. I read books, attended seminars, and immersed myself in the world of finance. Over time, I became more confident in my ability to make informed investment decisions. And with each new investment, I continued to see my wealth grow reinforcing the lessons I had learned from that first big risk. Now, I share my experiences with others, hoping to inspire them to take their own calculated risks and achieve financial success. My journey has shown me that with the right knowledge, a bit of courage and a willingness to take risks, anyone can achieve their financial dreams. Knowing your risk appetite, are you a gambler or a turtle? Not everyone feels the same about risk, some people are comfortable taking big risks, while others prefer to play it safe. This is called your risk appetite. Think of it like this. Some people love riding roller coasters. They enjoy the thrill, the adrenaline rush, the feeling of being on the edge. These are the risk takers. Others prefer to stay on the ground. They'd rather relax by the pool, read a book, and enjoy the peace and quiet. These are the risk averse. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to your risk appetite. It's all about what feels comfortable for you. The important thing is to be honest with yourself about your risk tolerance. If you're not comfortable taking big risks, that's okay. There are plenty of ways to grow your money without putting your capital in jeopardy. Smart risks versus reckless gambles. 
Spotting the difference. Taking risks doesn't mean blindly throwing your money at any opportunity that comes your way. It's important to distinguish between smart risks and reckless gambles. Understanding this difference can be the key to successful investing. A smart risk is a calculated decision based on research, analysis, and a solid understanding of the potential rewards and downsides. It involves careful consideration and strategic planning. It's like playing poker. You don't go all in on every hand. You wait for a good hand, you assess the other players, and you make a strategic bet. This approach minimizes potential losses and maximizes potential gains. A reckless gamble, on the other hand, is like throwing darts at a dartboard while blindfolded. You're hoping for the best, but you have no real strategy or understanding of the odds. This often leads to unnecessary losses and regret. Before taking any financial risk, ask yourself, have I done my research? This means thoroughly investigating the opportunity and understanding the market conditions. Do I understand the potential risks and rewards? Knowing both sides of the coin helps in making an informed decision. Do I have a solid plan in place? A well thought out plan can guide your actions and keep you focused. Can I afford to lose the money I'm investing? Only invest what you can afford to lose without it affecting your financial stability. If you can answer yes to all of these questions, then you're on the right track. This means you are making informed decisions and taking calculated risks, which is the essence of smart investing. Diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You've probably heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. This is especially true when it comes to financial risk. Diversification means spreading your money across different types of investments. This helps to reduce your overall risk. Think of it like this. If you invest all of your money in one company and that company goes bankrupt, you lose everything. But if you spread your money across 10 different companies, the risk of losing everything is much lower. There are many ways to diversify your investments. You can invest in stocks, ownership in publicly traded companies, bonds, loans you make to governments or corporations, real estate properties you own and rent or sell, and commodities, raw materials like gold, oil and agricultural products. By diversifying your portfolio, you can protect yourself from major losses and increase your chances of long-term success. Diversification is not just about spreading your money, but also about understanding the different types of investments and how they interact. Educate yourself on the various investment options available and seek professional advice if needed. Remember, the goal is to build a resilient portfolio that can withstand market fluctuations and provide steady growth over time. The power of knowledge, risk less, gain more. One of the best ways to reduce risk is to increase your financial knowledge. The more you know about investing, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions. There are many resources available to help you learn about investing. You can read books, attend seminars, take online courses, and even consult with a financial advisor. The key is to never stop learning. The financial world is constantly changing, so it's important to stay up to date on the latest trends and strategies. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the less you fear. And the less you fear, the more confident you'll be in taking calculated risks. Starting small, dreaming big baby steps to financial freedom. You don't need to be a millionaire to start taking financial risks. In fact, it's best to start small and gradually increase your risk tolerance as you gain experience and confidence. Start by investing a small amount of money that you're comfortable losing. As you learn more and see some success, you can gradually increase your investment amount. Remember, even small risks can lead to big rewards over time. The key is to start early Stay consistent and never give up on your financial dreams. The final word, to risk or not to risk. So, should you take risks to make money? The answer, as with most things in life, is it depends. It depends on your risk tolerance, your financial goals and your personal circumstances. If you're young and don't have many financial responsibilities, you may be more comfortable taking bigger risks. If you're closer to retirement, you may prefer to preserve your capital and focus on lower risk investments. The important thing is to carefully weigh the potential risks and rewards before making any investment decisions. 
Remember, taking risks is a part of life. But by taking calculated risks, educating yourself and diversifying your investments, you can increase your chances of financial success and achieve your financial dreams.